everyone, this is Anthony with Diesel Laptops and today we're going to be looking at updating our Diesel handheld tool. We're going to start by downloading the updater tool from the Diesel Laptops website by searching the Diesel handheld in the search bar. Once we select the tool, we'll go ahead and scroll down until we see the download update button and we can go ahead and click on that link there. At this point, you'll be redirected to the download site. You'll then select the download all option. Once your download is complete, you'll open the zip file, you'll extract the files, and then you will select the product update tool setup, which is going to open your installer. You will want to run this as an administrator if prompted to do so, uh, but once you make that selection, it's going to go ahead and, and start that installer for you. After the installer launches, you'll just follow the prompts to begin the actual install of the program. Uh, once the install is complete, uh, you'll just hit the finish button at the end. Then you can close out of everything and go to your desktop and check for an icon for the product update tool. And at this point, you've completed the download of the tool. Now we'll talk about registering your diesel handheld. Before we get started, we'll need to plug the handheld into your PC or laptop via the USB cable provided in your kit. This is going to power on the handheld device. And once you select the OK immediately after it powers on, you'll be able to get your register code. You'll need to write this code down or maybe take a picture on your phone because we're going to need it later in the process. But once you get that code, you can then unplug the handheld and remove the SD card in the bottom simply by pushing it into release. And then you're going to insert that SD card into the, SD, or the USB caddy. You want to make sure that the little tab in the scan disk label is facing up. And then you can insert that USB caddy into a USB port. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the product update tool. And once we open the tool up, we're going to want to make sure we select the SD option to the right. Once it selects, it'll turn red. Then you can press the OK button. And at this point, we want to enter our product serial number. Now we can find the serial number in two different places, either on the same screen that you got your register code from or on the back of your diesel handheld next to the barcode. Once you verify that you've entered the correct product serial number, you can then select Device Upgrade. At this point, you'll then be prompted to actually register the product. Um, you'll do this by entering your email address. Um, you want to make sure that you're using an email address that you have the password to that, uh, that you're familiar with in case anything goes wrong. But once you enter that information, you'll then go ahead and plug in your register code that we took a picture of or wrote down in the beginning of this process. And once you get all that filled out, you can hit the submit button. It'll go through a bit of an initialization and then you'll be ready to download your updates. Now we'll cover the actual updating of the tool. This process is going to be slightly different later on, but initially you're going to go ahead and remove that SD card and use the USB caddy. Uh, once you open the software, you make the SD selection and go ahead and enter your product serial number as before and then select that device upgrade option. This is the part of the process that's a little bit different if you've already registered your tool. Uh, once you hit the device upgrade, you're going to be prompted to put in your user password. This user password is going to be your register code. There's not going to be any way to change this. Uh, this is so that you'll always have that password uh, no matter what. So you'll have your serial number and your password right there on the device. Uh, but once we enter that in, you'll see that uh, the updater opens up. Um, our product serial number in the top left matches. We could download a different language if we'd like. Um, we have a different, a couple different options with selecting modules and then we get our release date. To go ahead and begin, you'll select your modules and then click the download button at the bottom. All right, once you select the download button, you're going to want to make sure you um, select the eDrive there. And if you hit OK, this is going to go ahead and begin the download and install process. Um, so you just want to kind of be patient and wait on this. Make sure you do not remove the USB caddy from the port um, or pull the SD card out of the caddy, anything like that. Um, you may want to check on updates for this tool about once every two months or so, uh, just in case there are any added functions or um, maybe there are some little bugs here and there that get worked out. Uh, but as this continues, we're going to eventually get a, uh, a message prompting us that the software has uh, finished the updates. 
Once you get that message, you'll want to close out of the update tool before disconnecting the USB caddy. Um, but at that point, you can remove the USB caddy and then the SD card and reinsert that SD card in the bottom of your handheld. All you'll need to do is push that, U uh, that uh, SD card in the bottom until it clicks. If you're having any trouble with this update process, feel free to give our technical support a call at 888-983-1975, option 2 for tech support.